let's see how we can record multi-cell channels into groups. Go ahead and say group group to get into our group list display. And I'm going to say group 31 enter to create that one. And this is going to be 301 through 312. So this is simply the entire channel of our cyclites. So let's go ahead and label this MC for multi-cell whole, the whole fixture. Group 32 is going to be 301 through 312 dot for cells only, enter. And you'll see cells only shows up in our group list display. Let's label this as MC cells. Next, let's create group 33. And I'm going to make this be exactly half of my psych. And I want it to be the stage left half. So I can say 301 cell one through 306 cell three. Because each fixture has six cells, I can split that sixth fixture in half and only put three of the six cells into this group. So we will label this as psych cells stage left. Group 34 is going to be just our master channels. So 301 through 312, shift dot, enter. And I will label that as multi-cell masters only. And group 35, we're going to make a mirror out group with the cells this time. So we made this group before as group 101, which was the full fixtures. And now we're going to make it with the cells. So we'll say 301 through 312 dot offset mirror out, enter. And we want to label that as psych top cells mirror out. And like we did before, we want to copy this to 36. And we're going to use our reverse soft key to swap that around and adjust our label to say mirror in. Let's make one more. That's going to be group 41. And we want this to be the top psychs and the bottom psychs mirrored out with the cells. So we're going to say 301 through 312 plus 351 through 362 dot offset mirror out, enter. Now let's see if that worked. So let's go out into live and we're gonna turn on the master channels first. So we'll say group 22, full, full. And now let's try and do a color gradient across our cells here. So we'll say group 41, color palette two, plus color palette seven. That is not what we were hoping to get. The reason it looks like this is the console is mirroring out the entire selection, which included the top and bottom cells. What we really want is for them to mirror out in pairs across the site. So to fix that, let's go back into our group list. And with group 41 selected, Let's type 301 through 312 plus 351 through 362 dot offset mirror out. And now we want to say channels per group two. So we want two cells in each group, one on the top and one on the bottom. Now currently it's doing pairs of cells next to each other within each fixture, which is still not what we want. What we need to do to get the achieved look is to press our interleave button. This will keep the mirror out distribution we want and two cells per channel, but it will distribute them across the selection and give us what we're looking for. Go ahead and press enter and enter again since we're overwriting what was in that group. Let's jump into live and make sure this works the way we want. So now in live, if we say group 41, color palette two plus color palette seven, it's going to mirror out in pairs across our psych. That is definitely the look we're going for. So let's pop back into our group list. Let's go ahead and label this as full psych mirror out. And let's copy this to group 42. And we want to reverse that and change our label to mirror in. The offset tools are extremely powerful and can be used to alter channel selections with multi-cell fixtures just like it can with full channels.
Let's take a look at some additional channel offset tools. Let's look at those in live. So from here, I'm gonna say 301 through 312, cells only, using my, my dot. I'll say offset even. And then I wanna add a second selection into the same command line. So I'm gonna say plus parentheses, remember that is shift slash, and now I'm gonna grab some of my bottom psych cells. So 351 through 362, cells only, offset, and I'm gonna jump those by four. And now I'm gonna turn all of those off. So this is a powerful way to get multiple offsets all on one command line. You'll see on the top psychs, I've grabbed every other fixture using the even modifier, and on the bottom psychs, I've grabbed every fourth cell using the jump modifier. Let's go ahead and put those back to full for now. Let's take a look at how to use offset with random subgroups. So I'm gonna say 301 through 312, cells only, offset, random subgroups. So far, this is the same as using our random channel selection because we haven't defined any subgroups. If we add number of groups is 12, now those cells are split into 12 subgroups and they are arranged in a random order. Currently, the cells are all in numerical order within those subgroups. We can distribute this and make it quite a bit more random by using our interleave option. And if I don't like this particular random, I can use my reorder button to switch it around. I'm gonna clear all that off my command line. Finally, let's look at using offset inside and outside of subgroups. First, let's take group 32 out to get rid of our top psychs. And I'm gonna clear my command line. I'm gonna do a shift slash to start a subgroup. Here I'll say 301 through 312, cells only, offset mirror in. I'm gonna close that parentheses with shift slash. Now I'm gonna press offset again I'm gonna select odd and say at zero through full. As you can see, offset is a very powerful tool that you can use to get dynamic channel selections very quickly.